Good morning, or afternoon, or whatever time it is at your place. This is Stephanie Kwame, and the subject today is wall editing. We find that the ARCHICAD community has been using this product for such a long time that when new users come around, they feel lost and can't find some basic information all in one place. So that is our goal is to give the information that new users might need in an easy format that they can actually visually see. So today the subject is wall editing. I'm going to go ahead to the wall tool over here, double click on it, and you can see that you have the wall height that's changeable, the width. I also have uh, pen information for emphasis and de-emphasis on information. I can also add uh, fill, hatch, poche, whatever you want to call it there as well. I can show it visually. I can change tags and labeling, but best of all, it goes on a layer. And we have found uh, from contractors that this way of creating a wall is the most helpful to them, having layers, because uh, they can also um, they can work with it easily, and then they can also see the components of the wall. I'm going to go ahead and start a new wall. I'm going to start in this quadrant here. We're going to head in that direction 25 feet 6 inches. And there's lots of ways to enter that. I can do 25-6 because it de defaults to feet. And that would actually have uh, put in uh, that exact amount, 25 feet 6 inches. I'm doing it again. Let's come up here and close this wall. Now, <coughs> if I go to this measuring tool, and if I see a check, I'm hooked on. I go over here to this corner. You can see that is 25 feet 6 inches. So again, there's several ways that you can uh, accomplish the same thing. I am in uh, multi-wall, multi and I like that because multi-wall rubber bands. So I pick one pick, and I go two pick, and lots of people like to work with, with that this way. And notice as you go along, you get all this guideline information. So there's great feedback you get with this program as well. I'm going to go ahead and use my backspace because I didn't mean to make that pick. And notice as you backspace, it backs you out of uh, whatever you have selected. So you can redo what you uh, meant to do. I'm going to go and make kind of a little bit of a mess here. And uh, right click, we're going to say OK. And we'll make another little mess here. And if I'm on multi wall, I need to right click and say OK. Now let's say that we didn't mean we don't we want that out of there. In this case, this is one instance where you do not have to go to the arrow to edit. You can just go right directly to your scissors to trim. And if you have hatching in the middle or anything in the middle, it doesn't matter. You don't pick the middle, you pick the line. And when the scissors turn black, then you are ready to trim. Let's say that I want this to be squared off right here. <coughs> and in this case, then I do go to the arrow. And I've got the magnet tool, which tells me what I'm selecting. And so sometimes if you've got multiple things there, you don't know. If I do a shift to add, I get to add two items to my selection set. And what I want to do is I want to uh, intersect that. So I go up to this little uh, toolbar. And there's some nice little tools for walls right here. And I click that, and I clean it up. <coughs> you can also select a, t a um, wall and then select a grip for the pal. The palette or pal is content sensitive things you can do. So right now I can extend this with this tool. If I change, whoops, I did extend it. Undo is a really good thing to know. <coughs> so if I select this and I want to move, I can move this around if I would like to. I can rotate it, mirror it, you can elevate it, you can copy it. We'll go back to this tool. This tool, you see, I'm selected at the end of this uh, uh, line. So this is a measurement from the end. So if I wanted to extend this, let's say, um, let's say it's 40 feet, then I could just type in 40 and enter. <coughs> and then that would be a 40 foot long wall. Now, you don't have to be limited by doing editing in a plan or 2D uh, view on the first floor. If I go to generic perspective, I can really make a mess. I don't really suggest that people do editing a lot in here, but sometimes it, it's helpful. Uh, not any one way works all the time. So again, I select a grip here, and I can, by saying I want to move this up, I can move it up and down. 
I can move it left and right, I can elevate it, I can make a big mess is basically what I can do. So let's elevate this up. <coughs> so now I've done some changing in a this view. Let's go to some elevations. And notice because it is a building information model tool, it's uh, creating elevations as I go. It's doing schedules as I go. It's making a sheet set as I go. And if I change anything here, it changes on every place. So that's the beauty of this over a 2D CAD package that you would have to be changing multiple places. I'm going to go ahead and pick this grip. Now I'm in elevations. And the other place I was in was a generic preview. And I am going to take this down. Whoops, I didn't do that, did I? I think maybe I wasn't. Uh, I did select this. And all we want to take it down to the base. There we go, is what I wanted to do. <coughs> so hopefully you receive from this information various ways you can edit walls. Because when you're uh, creating a building, there's a lot of uh, times you come into something that is unique and different, and you need to do something about it. Another thing, one last thing I'm going to show you that I think is important. Let's say I'm starting here. I'm heading out here. Well, I didn't mean to have that. Um, I didn't mean to start with it the an interior. I meant this. So I just click this, this one, and now I'm starting with a an outside. So uh, on the fly, again, you can change your measurement tool the way uh, it is measured from the interior, exterior, or middle on the fly as you're uh, creating geometry. And you normally wouldn't want to do that, but it, uh, these two become especially handy uh, when you are drawing. And uh, I hope this little bit of information, this little uh, short snippet, has helped you a little bit. I'm Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy, www.thecadacademy.com. We use this fabulous BIM tool as our tool, our architectural tool for our students. And uh, we also sell this package commercially through the CAD store. If uh, you have any questions, if we can help you with anything, you can send me an email if there's something that you would like to do and you can't do it. Um, my email is Stephanie, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E, at thecadstore.com. And we'll be posting a lot of little things that might be helpful to you. We work with students all the time and find that they have issues and problems and uh, they have the same ones you and I have. So thank you so much for your time <coughs> and have a good one.